Hi, welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Duda, and today we have Midge Marsden with us. How's it going? Good, Marty. Nice of you to drop by. Oh, you have a new record out, I see. Great to be here. Yeah, isn't that just great? It's fantastic. So uh, it's on vinyl, and it's just been, it's a kind of a reissue of, well, explain what the concept is. Before, well, it's kind of it. a reissue. Of, we, we recorded two albums, one in 65 and one in 67. So we've been working on this project for years and years, and right. thanks to John, Baker, John Baker uh, it's yep. finally got there. So what we did, well, we selected the best tracks, what we thought for both albums. There was a wee bit of dross on some of them, as there kind of was back in the day. Well, because <laughs> most of the, most of the t to be fair, you were thinking about hit, hit singles at the time. So And cover versions. Right. Cover versions. Well, by the second album, we recorded a couple of originals, which are also on there. So it's really like, it, it, I never dreamed even five, ten years ago that this would actually ever happen. You know, you right. just, uh, but vinyl now is, as you know, it's on the up and the quality of it's so much better. And so it's just amazing to hold it in my hand. You know, yeah. it's actually I think real. I just read something today where vinyl in the UK has outsold everything else and made more money than any other form of music, you know, format in the last couple of months or something. So, yeah. Yeah. so I guess our timing's Pretty good. You wait 50 years and here you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the the, uh, the cover is from uh, your, uh, your original album the and you've kind of, where, where was it shot? It's shot in Wellington and... Um, it does look windy. If people get the inner sleep, they will see a photo of the original album. It's got a bit of a lighthouse in there, which is now gone from the cover. Right. And, and the lighthouses are opposite, uh, if you come around Oriental Bay and look across, to the other side of the harbour. There's a lighthouse there, right on the corner. It's still there, of course. That's and that's where we went. And we got there and the photographer said, point. So, <laughs> so we so pointed, he pointed. So we pointed. And they took the photo and that was it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and just for folks who don't know, who else yeah. is in the band besides yourself? Yeah. Um, we originated in New Plymouth. And the bass player, Dave Orams, is from New Plymouth. He ended up in a band called the Quincy Conserve right. after us and then he's been in Melbourne for oh, 30 years. Dave Hurley who is a film sound man and he does lots of movies and stuff and he started at Mandrel Studios oh, yeah. quite some years ago. In fact he's been on the news again don't he Dave because he's in the <laughs> Poirier movie. Oh right I saw that it's and fantastic. He recorded, he and Velvanius recorded Poirier. Right. So, yeah so and Dave still plays a little bit and Brian Beecham sadly died after we did a reunion. Uh -huh. He drove the reunion, which John also helped to get together. And dear Brian, he died about three months after the reunion. So we were so pleased to get it, yeah. to get that under our, under our um, belts, you know. So, but here we are with a fantastic release and it's just really exciting. It's got, it's got some pretty cool covers. Rosalind, that's uh, Pretty Things. Yeah, pretty Things. Uh, yeah. Baby, Please Don't Go. I assume it's inspired by them. It, exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. In fact, copied almost note for note, although Beautiful I can't thing. sing like Van. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Farmer John, that was the premieres, I Yeah, think? very good, Marty. <laughs> you got it. And Sea Come Cruise, of course, is Phil Phillips, right? Or, or Frankie Ford. Frankie Ford. Frankie Ford. But, but it's written by the piano player Huey, Huey Smith. Yeah, Huey Piano Smith. Huey Piano Smith. Yeah, who did Don't You Do it? Yeah, no, yeah, we could go on forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, how did you hear those songs originally? Did you just collect records and... Pretty much so. Yeah. And uh, we were given sort of records to listen to from HMV back in the day. And so you'd pick things that you thought were okay to do. But yeah. as I say, it was mostly covers back in the day. And we just loved that R&B stuff. So we did covers of it. Yeah. Sort of like the repertoire we were doing. Come See Me was also, I think, a Pretty Things song. Yeah. Um, Woman uh, was the Easy Beats. Oh, right. The very early Easy Beats. So... That was a goodie too. Ain't Got You, Billy Boy Arnold, an old <laughs> blues man, tough enough, I'm not sure, not sure. Richard Corey, it's Paul Simon. That's a Paul song. Simon song. Paul yeah. Simon Poor song. Poor Richard Corey. Yeah. yeah. Milk Cow Blues, an old blues man. Talking about you, Chuck Berry, is it? I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway, we kind of selected what we thought would be the good balance right. of the more R&B end of what we did, because we did re-recorded Everly Brothers songs and stuff in, on the first album and uh, stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. And you've yeah. brought uh, an arrangement, uh, a collection of harmonicas. Yes, yes. Explain to folks why you need so many harmonicas. Well, they're all in different keys. Right. So there's a C, uh, B flat, right. E flat, A flat. So the uh, harmonica has to correspond to the song that you're going to yeah, sing. Yeah, depending and how, on what, what key, key uh, they're going to uh, play yeah, it in. The, 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 uh, the lower keys, I like the lower keys. The G is your lowest, you know. Give, give so you can do the... Oh. 
Whereas the F is your high one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the high, that's the high. So that's for your C. And uh, baby, please don't go. Yep. Oh, my lordy lord. I haven't actually played it since we did the reunion. <laughs> baby, 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 please don't go. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go down to New Orleans. Gotta love you so. And then the, the, the little harmonica piece of <laughs> Well, I think I'm crying. Oh. Yeah, I'm crying. Oh. Mm -hmm. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, hey, you, don't go. you know what? You should, have you heard the new Rolling Stones album? It's a blues album. I'm about to. You're going to hear, I mean, I don't know if you listen or I'm rated Jagger's uh, harmonica playing much at all, but he's all over it. And Everyone he sounds really says good. Everyone harmonica playing is really good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite Because I think in the early days, Brian Jones played it. Yeah. Like a not fade away, it was Brian Jones doing the swapping from the A to the E. But now Jagger's, he's, a, he's amazing, to be <laughs> fair. I mean, you know, all of a sudden his harmonica playing is like, whoa, is this Jagger? Yeah, yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought what a brave thing to do. And what a cool thing to do. I mean, yeah. Only they could get away with it. If I did a blues oh, cover, yeah. sort of, I'll be very, really? But he's done, they've done three little Walter Jacobs songs, which is like, well, they've done some obscure. Yep, yep, stuff. it's not the usual stuff, I think. Not at all. Like but one. I'd love to do one at some time, play a bit more. My next album, I think, is going to be a lot more rootsy. You know? Excellent. Yeah. Oh, we'll look forward to that. And we'll do some breakaway gigs uh, next year. We're trying to get Dave Orams back from Melbourne. Excellent. And we'll get out and and rehearse again and kick out the jams. You know? Excellent. Yeah. And in the meantime, perfect Christmas gift, right? It is. It is, Marty. It is. <laughs> there you go. Everyone out there, you, this is the Christmas <laughs> gift you never thought would happen. <laughs> a piece Fantastic. of history, a piece of the past. <laughs> well, thank you very much for stopping by uh, and playing a little bit. Thank it's you, Marty. Fan fantastic. Yep. Great to talk. <laughs>